and good morning everybody how you guys doing hope you're a fantastic day wherever you are in the big wide world we're back we're live we're streaming once again so hope you guys are doing well um yeah sorry about that you guys are just the, these memes are crazy yeah nice shirt thank you so much appreciate you guys we are back of course hope everybody's having a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the big wide world we are of course playing chess once again um uh i guess i'll take and play e6 here and go from there um so only up today i did beat only up the other day i probably play only up much later on try and get a new like new lower time maybe try to get like sub one hour if possible something like that but we will see of course um okay let's take let's take let's go here bishop d6 queen c7 all very standard stuff um queen e3 a little bit weird normally you go to d3 so you keep the scope open for the bishop but queen e3 probably fine too okay now i can play like Bishop e7. I can also castle. I think I'm just going to go here. Castle. Let's keep it very simple. Let's just castle. So, thanks so much to 3% for the prime. They use Zappy Cola for the prime. Glovers for the prime. They use Chase Hall for the tier one. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to, uh, thank you so much, you guys. All right, we get Bishop e3. I'm going to go Rook d7, Rook d8 stacked. It works on the pawn. Probably play a6 somewhere. Should be okay here. Weak pawn on d4 down the road once I stack, but we'll see what happens. Did I win the bullet brawl? No, I finished second place. Daniel won the bullet brawl, so big shout out to Daniel. I had a great event. Um, not really much I could do. He he just was simply the best player uh, the other day. So that's just how it goes. All right, I'm gonna go a six here. Maybe b five. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe just like um, I kind of want to move my knight somehow. Like maybe ninety eight and ninety six. I don't know if it makes sense, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, it is what it is, as the saying goes. I do. I did realize I blundered kind of. That's a slight mistake, but what do I want to do? Uh, Bishop g5. Bishop takes d2. Let's, let's trade. Let's go here. See what he does. I could have just taken and made a draw, but I don't really want to make a draw, so that's why I played e5. Thanks so much to Cop Finzo for the three months. Appreciate it. Thanks so much to Cop Finzo. I have an idea here that I think I'm going to sacrifice some material. That's what I'm going to do. Um, uh, does this actually work or not? Hmm. So I'm going to go work c7. Okay, I guess I go here. Is bishop c5 i mean my idea that i initially was aiming for is something with like b5 or something i mean um what am i doing though bishop g5 bishop b6 knight d6 okay i think i'm gonna go for this i'm gonna take and maybe go b5 we'll see if it works or doesn't work i also have bishop d2 somewhere as well When I'm coming to Greece, I don't honestly know when I'll be in Greece again. One of my earliest streams, uh, what's the 209? Oh, right, I have a timer up. Let me close the timers. Um, that, that's from the uh, Speed Chess Champion, Speed Chess Championship, the, which I was covering the other day. So I'm going to take, I'm going to play like F5, B5. I don't know if this is actually great, by the way, but it seems kind of okay-ish being the key word. Yeah, I guess I go F5 and like Rook C8. Target the pawn on c3, go c4. I expected that. Um, now I'm going to go bishop d8, stop c5, maybe b6, maybe pressure on the pawn as well. Um, I expected that. Now I go rook to c5, blockade the pawn. And probably I try to bring my king in like king f7, king e7. It's, this is a little bit sketchy the way that I've played this, but I should be okay. I'm just going to bring the king in. Now I go like king f6. Maybe I get e4, king e5, g5. I mean, I'm getting some counterplay here that I maybe don't deserve. But it's getting it's getting kind of interesting a little bit here in terms of what's going on. Now he goes king b3. Not super worried here. I think I'm just gonna keep on keep on expanding on the queen or not queen side, sorry, on the king side here, like g5, maybe b5, maybe a5. I kind of like my position here, actually. It's it seems fairly reasonable. Um now I can obviously go check. Knight b5 doesn't look right. The question is how do I proceed to improve the position uh, i'm getting a little bit low on time so i'm gonna make a check i'm gonna go b6 here to lock the rook here maybe if i can somehow reroute the knight i have chances too but we'll see if it's doable okay i'm gonna go here i'll play g4 of course lock it up go here i mean it's it's start my position is starting to improve quite a bit velvet canyon 19 just resubbed for six months these are the velvet canyon for the six month reset let's go here go here blockade of course I'm probably going to try to reroute my knight to e5 at some point. At least that's my idea. We'll see if I can make it work or not. Uh, I also had knight a4, maybe. Okay, let's go back. 
go here go h6 not even not even the best move but it's a move oh i'd be do i b5 here to win material i think i do yeah now i have bishop b6 f2 is weak it's getting very bad for my opponent by the way go here go after this pawn at f2 this takes and yeah this is all falling apart very quickly for him b4 now a5 and now actually i actually have a blockade this is just a dream i could take um but i think there's no need i'm just gonna go here and take a knight c5 and then i go like uh maybe i go like uh rookie seven and e3 probably rook d4 lurking i mean yeah it's just gg why not rook d2 of course check and now i just take the bishop and why gg why not there we go good win good way to start off the stream it's monday yes it is monday you guys it is monday yes okay let's play e4 knight c3 get it going thanks so much to ema banks for the prime thanks so much to ema banks so once again as always you guys are starting here on twitch we'll be moving over to kick a little bit later on so i mainly open the stream to see what day it is yes exactly that's the whole point um okay i'm gonna go bishop c4 maybe or do i i guess i'll play bishop c4 d4 is fine as well of course um just drop back i'm gonna play d4 here or d3 both are playable um i guess in this case i will go d4 i don't know if it's the right move but it seems reasonable d3 also totally fine as well why does he switch between twitch and kick uh because i primarily stream on kick but it is a non-exclusive contract so um for that reason i am able to stream on multiple platforms so i always start here bring the audience over and we're just chilling having a good time pretty much the bottom line um knight g6 now where does my bishop belong i'm gonna go here because i assume i want to use this diagonal down the road maybe i'm wrong but um let's go here and now let's go queen h5 nice white center here by the way Ooh, he's begging me to sack you know what i can't resist let's go for it let's just sack a rook f1 let's go for the kill with rook f6 this is how michael tau would play this position i don't know if this is actually correct but it, it looks very good c3 is also completely fine as well but that's that's life um he goes queen e6 now i could play d5 here to fix the pawns um i feel like i should be much better here if i play as precise i probably won't but i think i'm gonna go h4 first and the idea is I want to go queen f3 and then h5. He does have d5, but I think I can just take and take. And now I have a pawn and a bishop for the rook, which I, I of course, I sack the rook. But also he's got a weak pawn, weak pawns in the f file. So yeah, two games in a row where I've sacked, uh, sacked the rook. And I'm well on my way to another dub, I think, after knight e4 with knight f6. GM Hikaru, please stay on Twitch. Uh, I stream on both, so I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. Again, you guys, you can read the headlines, whatever you want to believe in. That's that's your prerogative, but uh, kick is great. I'm, I'm having a great time. I go D6, C5. This is a total disaster for my opponent, by the way. Complete disaster. Uh, let's go H5, kick the knight. Let's go Bishop E5, attack the king. Let's go Rook F5 and checkmate in one with Knight G4. GG, why not? It's almost force mate I mean yeah just GG what a disaster checkmate next game thank you there's a wholesome shark for the 100 bits thank you so much yeah very very good start so far so all right we need to win four in a row because ones are only plus two now so we need to win four to get back to 3200 let's play d5 here and take I really miss GM Hikaru yes I I don't know what you mean what do you what do you mean bowling and FM Sag exactly Sag I agree let's go Bishop G7 but he's got a good rating to be fair like he has a pretty pretty solid solid rating so I don't know if you can say it's bowling he's like 2900 it's gonna be six castles 94 is an idea somewhere Bishop E6 an idea of course it's gonna 94 and trade 3260 today uh very very unlikely but all right now eh. What do I want to do here? I think I'm going to play a5. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'm going to play it. I figure I can go bishop e6 somewhere. I don't really like it, honestly, but I'll, I'll make it work. I really don't think you should have traded knights, though. That was probably a big mistake. 
Are things going well on Kick? They're going great. I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying it. Thank you to Anonymous for the, uh, for the 25 months. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I did not follow the Global Chess League, you guys. So those of you guys who are asking me about it, I didn't follow it pretty much at all. I, I did a couple of recaps, follow the game here or there. But, um, you know, it was hard to find coverage. There wasn't really all that much. And it, it didn't seem like the, the absolute top players, with the exception of Magus, weren't playing either. So uh, I just didn't follow it very closely. Can I turn up the music a little bit? The music should be fine, but um, I'll turn it up a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's play Bishop D5, hit the pawn, keep the ideas alive. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's not that it's not that it was like a bad event or something, but I just, I didn't follow it very closely. Okay, I'm going to go here, hit the rook, and then play Knight D5. Levon, Envy, and Vichy are not top GMs. Well, Anish wasn't playing, Fabiano wasn't playing, Wesley wasn't playing. I mean, all those guys, uh, I mean, I mean... Whatever. I, I don't want to say something that's going to make everybody angry. So let's play... Uh, uh, what am I doing here? I guess I'll just take... And now I think I'm going to go Rook A5 idea to play E5 maybe. Maybe C5 as well. Uh, uh, C5, C5 is a move, but I don't really love it. So I think I'm going to go Queen B6 and like Rook D8 maybe. Put pressure. Maybe Rook B5 also. So, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's not that they're not top players, but like, you know, if I'm looking, I'll, I'll, I'll be blunt. If I'm looking at, um, if I'm looking at, if I'm looking at chess from the standpoint of like top level games or trying to do preparation or things like that, I am generally going to be looking at Fabiano and Anisha's games more than anybody else. And it's not even close, just to be clear. So I'm going to go here. I don't know if I play this correctly. Uh, he goes 94, but now there's work D8. Um, so, so like, I, if I'm looking at games from the, from the standpoint of trying to, learn something or, or just like pick up something for future games i will always look at fabiano and um fabiano and anisha's games before anybody else's and neither of those guys are playing um so yeah and, and also there just wasn't much coverage in general i guess on youtube there might have been a couple channels but at least when i was trying to cover the first couple of days it just was there wasn't a whole lot going on so yeah it was queen c3 i can just take here and take i guess I should be better. I don't know if it's winning or anything, but I should be a little bit better. Would I consider it for a season two invite? Potentially. Um, but again, like uh, the, the, the coverage, I, I didn't really see a whole lot of coverage in general. So it would, it would depend. Um, don't really want to trade the Queens. That being said, this should be a free pawn. So on Rook B1, I have Bishop A2 to hit the pawn. So yeah. Ding and Nepo, Ding wasn't playing. Does, does Ding... Does Ding play chess anymore, actually? Let's take and go rook a2. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, obviously, but like Ding. When is it, when, where is Ding even playing, honestly? I, I don't even know where he's playing. Uh, I think I go check and then rook c1 and gg, why not again? There's just a nice little pin here. Uh, let's just take. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really trolling, but uh, Zagreb, I will cover you. Zagreb is all the top players. We will be covering that, of course, um, and going from there. So that I will be covering very closely, yes. Thoughts on Daniel calling you the best Blitz player of all time? I mean, it's nice that Daniel says that, but I mean, like online, probably that's true. Over the board, definitely not. Uh, but it's, it's, it's nice to hear at any rate. It's, it's nice. Um, it's, it's nice to hear, but I mean, yeah, like, I mean... That's a bit, it's probably a bit much. Okay, we got 94. Um, play Bishop D3 and trade. I don't even know this is good. Probably not. I should have played 92. I'm going to go H4, H5 here, just attack. Um, let's go 92. Maybe Knight F4 here. I like Knight F4. Pressure on the pawn. Vichy and Magus not top players. Magus, of course, was playing, obviously. But Magus' team got knocked out very early. That, 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 that's the thing. They got knocked out in like the third, third, in like the quarters or semis or whatever. I mean, they got knocked out early. They weren't, they weren't anywhere near the final. That's what I know. So, um, pressure on the pawn. Yeah, there's pressure here on E6 and G6. Did I beat only up? I did beat only up on my last stream. Yes, on kick. So if you guys missed it, uh, I don't know if we have the VOD up yet, but it should be there soon. Okay, I'm just going to go for the kill with takes. And I mean, I have Bishop G5, I have Rook H3. I mean, it just plays like a Michael Tal. This looks terrible for black. Rook F3. I don't know if this is actually winning for sure, but it looks very, very hard for black to play. Actually, it is just winning, I think. Because 97 is the move that concerns me, but I have a trick. 
Wait, I didn't know you were streaming. Yes, uh, we'll be switching to kick a little bit later on. Not, not quite yet. Last time I watched you play only if you got cheesed. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, thank you for the reminder. Okay, um, how do I win this game? Rook f3 looks correct. So I'm threatening mate in one with queen f7 here. And now I have bishop g5 to hit the queen and rook a1. Rook h1, king e2. I mean, that should be winning. Should be winning. We'll see. Thank you so much to Amulas B for the three month reset. Thank you to Amulas B. Oh, uh, wait, you, when did you run kick? I didn't see a vid since last Tuesday. Um, I took most of last week. I took most of last week off, a little bit tired, but streaming really, really long hours. Uh, so I was trying to do a little bit of preparation, get ready for uh, get ready for um, the World Cup in Baku. So just doing things like that. Okay, uh, let's just check, mate. All right, next game. Uh, Cinderov versus no. Cinderov versus who? I don't know what you mean. Was the chess part and only up good? It was great. Yeah, it's great. But they've changed. They've made changes in the games, which is why I really wanted to finish the game also. Because, like, they got rid of the waifu, which was one of the best parts of the uh, of the game. But also, they put in a lot of planks and other things. Um, which, I mean, it's not, nothing wrong with it per se. Like, let, let's be clear. But they put in, like, planks and things. And so it feels like it's actually a little bit easier. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But it, it feels a little bit easier, honestly. I'm going to go knight f6 here, hit the pawn. Do I think PSG should sell Mbappe to Real Madrid? Don't know. Uh, I'm not the biggest soccer guy out there, so probably not the person to ask. Yeah. Uh, no, it's my, plus two minus 14 is, is what it is, you guys, for anyone who's wondering. That's just how it goes. Okay, it goes bishop f4, so I'm going to play queen b6, hit the pawn on, put pawn on d2. Uh, I can play knight c6 here. Let's go rook c8. It's football. You kick it with your foot. Yes. I mean, I, I follow I, or I follow soccer, football, whatever. I mean, whatever. We don't need to anger all the Europeans for watching because they are a big part of our audience. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I do follow, but just not super closely. So if he takes, I go back and take the juicer on e5. When am I coming back to Detroit? I don't know. Um, so anyway, it goes g3. I mean... I probably should take, I mean, maybe I can do something like queen a6 and b5, b4. Actually, I'm going to try to go b5, b4 maybe. Yeah, let's go here, b4, try to make this a little bit more chaotic potentially. Um, yeah, I, actually, I kind of expect that, but I thought maybe I've got knight a5, knight b3 now. Interesting. Okay, I will take, of course, and go knight c4. Is there knight e5? A knight e5 is... I'm going to go for this. I don't know if this actually works, but it's, it's again, trying to play like Michael Tal. This is how Michael Tal would play chess. So I want to try to play like Michael Tal. Let's take. And now I'm going to go here. I'm just going to go D4. It's very, very basic, very rudimentary, but I think this is actually really good. Do we have Bullet Brawl this Saturday? Yes, we do, you guys. We have the Bullet Brawl on, um, on a Saturday. Yeah. Hikaru is old. Yes, you guys, I'm very old. I'm all 28 years old, or 28 years young, as we like to say. What I think of Mamadi Yarov, amazing player. What can I say? Amazing player. Yeah. I'm just going to go D4 open up. This is not a speedrun. We will try to finish up the speedrun later. You don't want to take the rook there because then white gets a bishop and knight for the rook. And you have Swiss cheese uh, without, without a dark square bishop. You, you have this pawn chain, but no bishop in the sniper's nest. I look 45. Thank you. You and Ludwig are the same age. That's crazy. I know. Tell me about it. Let's take the bishop. Uh... Let's go here, hit the knight. I mean, this is just going downhill really quickly. Just here, d4. I mean, this is a disaster. Uh, wait, I have just rook c3, and bishop a1, and queen f6 with the classic right triangle. Yeah, classic right triangle. There we go. He's going to resign. He's going to resign. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> I was like, why isn't he resigning? It's a little bit weird. Okay, let's play e4. Okay, one more. Let's go knight c3, knight f3. Let's take. Should I play h3 and take, take with the queen here on f3? 
Go g3, bishop g2, keep it simple. Actually, no, I'm going to play d3 here to avoid an end game. Go here. Uh, 2700 chess acting weird. Um, what do you mean acting weird? I don't know what you mean by that. No idea what that means. Yeah, I have no idea what you, what you guys mean by that. Let's stay with the bishop. It goes queen b6 now. I mean, I don't think knight d2 is right. But you know what? I've been sacking so much material so far today in all these games. I kind of just want to do it and take the pawn on b7. And also, I have e5. I've got e5, e6 lurking too. So this might be completely fine. Let's go rook b1. Did I happen to follow the global chess lead? Ah, he's got knight c5. Great. No, I blundered this time. He's got knight c5, which I just missed. I could try and sack the rook somehow, but I think I'm just going to go e5 then. Takes and maybe castles. I also have e6 too. Like, it's a little bit hard to judge what's going on here. Um, I'm going to castle because I can take e6 next move. I could have taken right away as well. In fact, why didn't I take? Oh, great. What did I just do to this position? Why didn't I just take... Why didn't I just take and go bishop d6? What the heck? Wait a second. Okay, I need to focus. Maybe I go like uh, here and rook c7. Knight b3. Knight d4. I mean, black is still fine here, but there are problems potentially. Go here. Knight c7, big threat. d4, also a very big threat as well. I do have d4 here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play d4. And then rook c1, of course, to hit the queen. If I get rook c7, I've got knight c7. I mean, this looks very scary for black. Maybe it's defendable, but it looks really, really bad. It looks really hard to play. Um, I also have knight a7. Yeah, I think maybe I just take and go for rook c8, actually. So now I get this knight e5, and I get a bastion, and I have rook c8 also. Pretty scary position to play for black. Queen e a good move, though. Mm, Queen e maybe saves the, saves a day. Um, frustrating that he found that move. I guess I'll go here. Just to take the pawn. I mean, it's not like this is necessarily great. But I do have an A pawn that I can push up the board. Okay, I guess I'm going to go back to e3. Now I go knight e5. Just take away the f7 square. Good morning to you too, my friend. Good morning. Hope you're doing very well. Do I think the government hides UFOs in their basement? I, I don't know. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So we get bishop d6. I can play a4 here. Um, wait, a4, queen a4. I mean, this must be winning though. Because if he takes, I have check and rook f1 and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, thanks for La Burnata for the six months. Thank you so much to Lionsheart as well. Thank you so much to Lolad for the four. Oh, did I just blunder this? I did. Wait, but I have queen a6 maybe? I also have queen c6. Wait, I got to be a little bit careful here. Why did I allow this? What the heck? I go a5, a6. a5, rook f3, a6, check king h2. I think I can actually do this, weirdly enough. I think this works. Rook f3, and then I... Rook f3, I think I have queen b7 and rook c8, or just a6, a7, even. Maybe not. Thank you so much to Quesic Kotal for the 18 months. Thank you so much to Quesic Kotal. Appreciate it. Okay, it goes there. So, I guess he's trying to play queen a4 or something. Oh, he is, yes. Actually, I misplayed this. Oh, no, I actually, maybe I really misplayed this, but whatever. Let's go a6. I mean, I still have a7, I guess. So there's no entry here, basically. Queen a3, logical move. I do have, like, rook f1, maybe. I 
I think I'm okay here, though. I miss queen d3, by the way. I think I'm escaping. No, my king's getting out. Oh, shoot. Okay, now I win. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Crazy, crazy game. Very, very difficult to win. I think I think I was I actually winning that the whole way through or not? Like, this is a obviously it's a draw here. Ah, so it, it was still winning here if I if I it, it was winning. King a4. Ah, queen b queen b2 is a draw. He he went back and then after queen b3, it's it's winning again, as you can see from the bar, huh? Okay, so it's actually all winning. Takes, takes, check. Oh, knight g3. Oh, knight g3 is mate. Oh wow. He goes here. So after queen queen a1 is still maybe a draw, but with queen d3, it's probably losing. So yeah, super GM. By the way, exactly. How many edibles do you put in your morning coffee? Uh, zero, you guys. Zero. It's just. Plain black coffee. It's just instant black coffee. That's all it is. I think it's Dodamok for the Prime. Thank you so much, Dodamok. All right, you guys. So on that note, we are going to be moving over to Kick now. So I'll put the link in chat so you guys can keep watching me. We're going to continue to do chess. Uh, there is the link. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're going to be moving over to Kick, you guys. So I'll see you over there in about two seconds. And um, we're just going to keep on rocking and rolling. We're going to keep doing chess. We ain't doing slots, anything like that. We're playing chess. So I'll see you guys over on Kick in one second. See you guys there. Bye.